to speak to him about this. Hey, I want to thank you for bringing me to Bitter Springs. Things seem clearer now. All right, nice. Go. So, shit went south of Bitter Springs quite badly. To oh, we put one of these up every time he gets one. Two-headed bear. It's a reference to the NCI. He puts one of them up every single time he gets a kill. Hmm. Kind of a weird cave system. Why does it say take instead of steal now? Well, there is more to take. Spreading fresh supplies to the camp. Yeah, so that is a person in a bow tie. So yeah. Those are people in suits and bow ties. I don't know why I used to stand to kill them. Fuck penguins, I guess. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't get it. Oh. Oh. So this is how you could speak to him, or just sneak around him, I guess. Say so if he's got this place too well covered, that's a good way of getting around him. Okay. That's the only purpose that serves. That seems to be the only purpose it serves. Come on. Dude, come on. Thank you. This shouldn't reach this far. It's only 45 ACP, so it really shouldn't be reaching as far as this, so. Am I doing any damage? Come on. Where are they gone? There they come. I think they've worked out where I am. There they are. Nice job. So let's just fast travel to British Springs. That way I don't have to like tell. That way I don't have to run there. Okay. Either way, that's it. So now we go speak to the camp ranger or whoever it is who's going to take these supplies off us. I want to help the Khan, so I want to actually help them, and they are accepting of my help right now, which is why it's so weird that he just shot me on sight. Unless he's been here the entire time, like, and not had any contact with his tribe, which is a possibility. Where's he gone? I should have brought Eddie with me. Well, there's the doctor, but where's the officer? Yeah, what is it? Uh, no. Where's Officer Giles? Am I stupid or something? Tell Captain Giles, yeah, there you go. Okay, no, you're taking the piss. You weren't here just then. <laughs> you're back. Any progress on saving our... Um, Science 25, these supplies are irradiated, but if we filter them with Radex, they'll be safe. Uh, I've dealt with more attacks in the camp, they won't be a problem anymore. You did? Who was it? Any information you could give me would be a big help for my reports. It was a great con raid there. He is a base camp in the cave up in the mountains. Really? Well, this canyon used to be a great con stronghold. I suppose that explains why he was able to evade us so easily. Any idea why Great Khan would be so far from Red Rock? About three years ago, NCR's first recon launched an attack on the Khan encampment here. There was a communication mix-up that resulted in some non-combatants being killed. I guess he was still bitter about it. Do you think? It was a tragic mistake, but we've done all we can to make amends. Like what? Looks like the NCR around the Khan's are bitter springs altogether. Yeah, I'm not going to... That's very noble of you. 
Well, it's taken care of now, he's dead. I'm glad it's taken care of, but still. I wish it could have been resolved without violence. I know, I do as well. What can I do to help? Uh, flags are down. I found these supplies in the case. Maybe they'll help. Where did you get this? You know what? It doesn't even matter. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, these supplies are radiated, but if we filter them with Radex, they'll be safe. We do have some spare Radex in the supply tent. That might work. Thank you. Okay. How can I help with the medical supplies? You'll want to talk to Lieutenant Markland about that. He's our medical officer. He should be down at the medical tent now. Okay. And oh, you got any troops? That's from Camp Golf. Okay. Let's go. So let's speak to the doctor. The doctor should tell us where we can go to get medical supplies. Yeah? What is it? Um, Camp Gal said talk to you about medical aid for the camp. Hey, if you can help, I'll take whatever I can get. Doctor's bags would be a huge help, but what I really need are medical texts. I'm not trained to deal with major psychological trauma, and we've got a lot of kids in this camp. Medical texts. Aren't you a doctor? I'll keep my eyes open for books on pediatrics or psychological trauma, then. Thank you. Any help you can... I don't know where to get them from. Blake at um, the Crimson Caravan. What does it say? Bring the town market free doctor's bags. Find pediatric... Okay, so I need to find free doctor's bags, and I need to do that. So I know where to. The Crimson Caravan um, sells the books that he needs. But doctor's bags are going to be a bit of a little problem. I'm going to go to the New Vegas Medical Clinic as well as to Blake. Blake should have some, but I'm willing to bet he doesn't. Oh, that's Ringo. Where's Blake? What time of day is it? You sons of bitches should have been out here for hours already. Lazy sacks of shit. Come on. Wait till 9am. Where is he? Blake! <coughs> Where the hell is Blake? Uh. Yeah, I know. Uh, pure hot water. Where the fuck is he? He's in that doorway. You should have been out saving already. Yeah. Blafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Oh wow, the second I come in here he goes out. You sack of shit. Hey there. You looking to Show me off for sale. You sack of shit. Talk about a shotgun, okay, that's funny. Aid. Uh, you don't need doctor's bags, miscellaneous. Yeah, I'll take them. Temp 9mm pistol, cabo repeater, hunting rifle. Where are they? Yeah, he has books. Where are the books, dude? Dude, I know you have these books. Where, did I already get them? Mate, am I stupid or something? Do I already have them and I'm just being stupid? Let's try items, miscellaneous. No, I'm in the quest item, so they should be in the quest item area. No, he should have them. Okay, 
Hey there. Maybe. Oh, do you know? Just crimson caravan, get its merchandise, draw from bandits. Yeah, he should have them. They should be. They should be in miscellaneous. There you go. These weren't there before. Stress and the modern refugee, a primer. Tiny, tiny babies. All you need to know about pediatric medicine. Yeah. Um. Apparently, his. Apparently, his uh, seller's inventory increases when he gets here. Eh, don't want a lot. Give me 80 rounds, yeah. 80 should be enough, right. Now. Aid. Doctor's bags? No. Anyone I can sell? Combat knife. Grenade rifle, yes please. Hunting rifle. Long fuse dynamite. Machete. Pretty much everything I picked up is useless to me. I will sell four of these. Thank you. Okay, <clears throat> now doctor's bags are still a problem. Right. No, but I need to get doctor's bags. Let's try the medical clinic, but I get the feeling they won't have them either, because they didn't have them last time I went. I limped all the way there and they didn't have a single doctor's bag. And it really pissed me off. Okay. Uh, there you go. You're back. Do you need medical? Uh. D come on. You have one. It's good enough for now, I guess. Uh. You can have that, I don't want it. Uh, cigarettes, camera, pretty well money, it's of no use to me. Clipboard, mug, I'll save that for the gun runners. Let's go up England, I'll give that to Ruby, tin can, turpentine, yeast, cigarettes, plunger, Shot glass. Tannins? I don't remember tanning that. Don't remember tanning it. Must have been tanned somehow, but it won't buy me. Uh, okay, so I've got one. Need to get two more. Doctor's bags, doctor's bags. Where do you hide? Hmm. Brewers be a bootlegging the uh, Ranger Station Foxtrot Vault 22. Northern Passage, Miguel's Pawn Shop, definitely no. Cerulean Robotics, Crimson Caravan, already been there, no. North Vegas Square, Mall Rat Ranch, Field Shack. I don't think Nellis will have them. Not the 188, maybe, maybe Novak. I can try the doctor in Novak who feels the need to walk around with armed guards at all times. I'll check with her. Where is she? Strauss, that's her name. Dr. Ada Strauss and she always walks around with an armed contingency. Where the hell is she? Where the fuck is she? There she is. <sighs> what can I do for you? Uh, supplies. Yeah. Shut up, I'm Hey! You had exactly what I needed. Give me a shout if you need anything. Thank you. You literally had exactly what I needed. Exactly. 
two of them, which I needed, and then you also had, oh yeah, just now, I've already got the, I don't need to sleep. I'll sleep on one of these mattresses after I give the doctor's bags and that to the doctor. We should go inside some of these buildings. It makes no sense for them not to be accessible. There he is. Yeah, what is. Uh, give two doctor's bags. Give three doctor's bags. I brought you three doctor's bags. I hope they help. Thank you. This will keep us well stocked for a good long while. Okay, um, I found those books you wanted. Both of them? Wow, that's very resourceful. Thank you. I think that should just about cover us. I really don't know how to thank you. You're bringing me these supplies saved a lot of people. Indeed they did. Well, if you've got surplus, maybe you could spare a little medicine. Some spare meds would be great. Aren't those... Those books weren't cheap. Don't sweat it. I was glad to help. Uh, no, I'll go with that one. Uh, yeah, go with that. Oh, oh yeah, sure. I think I can spare a little. Here. Two stem packs. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, that's actually quite useful. Uh, should be... No, not much. Talk to Camp Forlorn Hope about reassigning soldiers to Bitter Springs. Talk to Camp McCarran about... Okay, now I remember now. So let's go to full... I thought I've already been to Camp Golf. I have, yeah. I've already been to Camp Golf and spoke to Chief Hanlon. So why do I have to manually walk there again? Let's go to Fall on Hope first then, I guess. That's weird. I've already been to Golf. I've been inside Camp Golf. So why is it not selected? Where is he? I didn't expect someone as famous as you to be here. Please tell me you're here to help. What have you been here? Captain Gallows of Bitter Springs need reinforcements. Can you spare any? I'll be honest. The Legion has me worried here, but I think I can spare some soldiers. Consider your request granted. Yeah, well, you should have done. I should be able to spare some soldiers. I killed everyone. I killed Nelson. You know what I mean? I, well, not killed. I helped you take back Nelson. Um, let's go to McCarran. Because I know what's going to happen next. I'm going to go to Camp Golf and they're going to go, No, we haven't got any people who are trained well enough. Then I have to train those idiot soldiers. I think they're called like the Misfits or something. So I need like a high explosive skill. Now I remember what the explosive skill is actually useful for in this. But it's the only thing it's useful for. Yes, what is it? Uh, Captain Gal is a bit of springs. Need reinforcements, Case Bernie. Well, you have been a great help here. And with the saboteur dealt with. Yes, I think we can spare a few men. Consider it done. Thank you. Good. Now we need to do the same thing for golf. But let's have a look here. Do I I have explosive skill twenty book? Skills, what's my explosives? It's thirty one, so it should bring me up to fifty one, which actually should be enough. So, before we do what we're going to do, I have a feeling something bad's going to happen, because they do have a tendency to fucking do it to me. Ready? Three, two, one. I'm going to die, because those death calls are going to respawn, aren't they? They shouldn't. And they didn't. Good. Yeah, death claws have a tendency to respawn after you kill them all. I mean, if you... See?! He's dead. He has no health left. They have no health left. How are they still alive? Okay, this 12 7 is actually really good. Alright, boom. That was really close. Yeah, I knew they'd respawn. I fucking knew it. They always do. It's fucking stupid, but they always do it. This 12.7 mil is actually really effective. Thank fuck for that. Yeah, I think you need to you, you need to teach them how to do grenades. You teach them how to shoot, and you teach them how to. Um, can't remember what else, but it's, it's the misfits. You you give them generalized orders. So your explosives needs to be high enough. I think it's your speech as well as your thing. 
because a few of them are just dicks for no reason. You need to go, listen here, you bell ends. You know what I mean? You need to do your job. You signed up for the NCR, you're now a troop. All right. It's over. You think? Leave the poor bastard alone. Yeah. This weapon is so good. I think using this weapon alone I could replace my fucking M4, but... I don't really want to replace it, but I might as well. I might as well just get rid of it because I, I just don't use it. Once you've got this, there's just no point not beat it. I tend to go back and play some Skyrim again, but I don't see a point in doing a Skyrim playthrough because there's so many of them already. But I guess my own unique style wouldn't go and miss. Right. I think the now I've discovered it, have I now? Dickhead. So I must need to speak to this person and he'll tell me to help the troops instead. Even. McGreedy. McCready, sorry. Oh hell. What is it? Uh, Camp, uh, what'd you guys say in the army? Okay, Camp Giles brings the rear sports in case Benny. Hey, you're a damn fine soldier, and word on the grapevine is that you're already some kind of hero. You got yourself a deal. Oh damn. Okay, that was weird. Usually after help. Uh, let's see if we can do the misfits anyway. I'm assuming you aren't associated with the army or the rangers. What can I do for you? How are you in charge of it? Are you in charge of idea? In a strictly official capacity, no. <laughs> However, as I am by far the most intelligent and resourceful figure on this base, I feel it's safe to say the soldiers here look up to me. So that's a no, then. I suppose if you must stick with your narrow, parochial view of in charge, then yes. It's a no. Are we done? Dickhead. how the a guy like you end up in the army? It's a simple idea. The army offers fiscal security and generous benefits at the cost of substantial personal risk, if you're on the front line. If you perform too poorly, they'll scrub you out. Perform too well, and you get sent to the front lines. All I have to do is ride that mediocrity gradient to a cushy, do-nothing job miles away from the war. Bellend. Tell me about yourself. No, I don't want to know, and I don't care. Where are the misfits? Yeah. Hey, oh, he's one of them. Oh shit! Here comes the brown noser. What you want? Belland. You know about the army? Why are you in the army? You know about your squad mates? We don't talk too much, mostly. Poindexter's a smart ass prick. True. Well, Hanrahan's a big pussy. Ain't good for shit in a fight. And Mags. Well, Mags is cut out for something other than soldiering, you dig? Okay. Sound like a bunch of wieners. Whatever. Not like I need any of them. I do just fine on my own. There you go. Um, fuck you. Hell of a battle at Nelson. I'm impressed our troops survived. Oh, yeah, she's the squad commander. Uh, how'd you end up percent? Uh, tell me a little about yourself. Not much to tell, really. I grew up in New Reno, joined up, took my shot at being a ranger, didn't make it, so I'm stuck with this crew of jokers. How uh, come we didn't make it into the Rangers? Gee, I don't know. Maybe because I'm saddled with the worst damn unit in the NCR army. Think that might have something to do with it? Sounds like you aren't too fond of your squad mates. Yeah. I mean, no. They're okay people. But they don't care, you know? They don't have any ambition. No drive. They're slacking off, and that reflects badly on me. Doesn't know. This place doesn't seem so bad. Please. Camp Golf is where they shuffle off anybody they don't want anymore. Assignment here is a career ender. Ooh. Uh, how'd you end up assigned to again? Easy. This is where they send all the fuck-ups and people they don't want. But hey, it's not like I'm bitter or anything. <laughs> Usually I can help you. Oh shit, here comes the bro- Um, what'd you do in the army? Shit, man, it was this or the fiends. And fiends don't last too long in the NCR. <laughs> At least this way, the badasses with the top shelf guns are on my side. What's your story? Ain't much to tell. Grew up out west, in the boneyard. Heard of it? Yep. Yeah, not many people have. Wasn't really a good place for kids, you know. I joined up to get out. 
My family's still back there. Tell me if I'm about Camp Golf. What do you want to know? Whole place used to be some kind of rich bastard resort back before the war. Now the Rangers use the old resort, and we grunts get to live in tents. Fucking typical. That is seriously. Usually the Sony. Wow. The. Why'd you join the army? I guess I wanted to make something of myself, you know, be the best of the best. I wanted to be a ranger, but guess this is as close as. Usually, there's a person I can talk to that tells me to assist them. That might be him. Hello. Oh, Han Rahan. Y'all sure are a big old hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. <laughs> uh, why are you so afraid of fighting? I ain't scared. I just don't like hurting folks is all. Ma always used to tell me, boy, you're the biggest and the strongest, so you mind yourself. <laughs> Every day she told me that. Guess I done took it to heart. You can tell me about your squad mates? They're mostly pretty nice. Coindexter showed me how to make fireworks. Raz kind of scares me sometimes, but I don't mind. He's had a hard life. Tell me a little about yourself. Well, I was born on a farm out in California. Weren't much. Me, Ma, and Pa, my two sisters, and about 40 acres of corn and Brahmin. Didn't ever have no problems, really, except for some lean years. Then I joined up and got shipped out here to New Vegas. Did you know? Uh, okay. What do you do for a cup of golf? Oh, it's a fine place. The lake is real pretty, and we don't get bothered much by them Legion fellers. <laughs> them Legion fellers. Uh, end up in the army? Well, as it turns out, we had a string of bad harvests a few years back. Pa said he couldn't afford to feed but three youngins or we'd starve. As the biggest one, it was my job to go join the army so as my sisters could eat and so as we wouldn't all be killed by raiders and Jesus would love us. <laughs> Jesus right, would I love us. I don't like all the fighting we gotta do, though. Uh, goodbye. Right. Who the fuck is it I speak to? Actually, what's in there? I don't care, I'm taking that. Uh, what's point Dexter have to say? You have anything else? You've managed to become extraordinarily well liked by the top brass. You should exploit that for your own gain wherever possible. Dickhead, tell me about yourself. To what purpose? It's highly unlikely you'd understand anything I'd say. Suffice to say, I'm a certified genius, and when I'm discharged from this pit of testosterone and failure, I'll have all the money I could ever need. Dickhead. I want to punch him. I actually want to punch him. So, maybe it's this big tent with the fucking satellites outside it. Right. Trooper, trooper, trooper. These have names. Who's that? Right, Sergeant McCready. Well. Hot damn, look who it is. Uh, how'd you like serving in the army? Man, it's my life. I joined up when I was 16. I don't know how to do anything else. You joined at 16, you're still a sergeant. Yeah, well, I didn't want to get promoted out of the field. I didn't join up to drive a desk. Understandable. How'd you end up at Camp Golf? I've been here since the first push into Vegas. Back in the day, this camp was the hot spot for conflicts with the Legion, Raider tribes, you name it. These days, I spend most of my time trying to beat a little discipline into the soldiers under my there command. There we go. Got it. I've gotten soft with no action. Funny. I thought it was where they sent the washouts and losers. Yeah, well, somebody has to wrangle those washouts and losers. Somebody's got to turn them into a real fighting force. Sounds like you're a little disappointed in your troops. Disappointed? We call them the misfits for a reason. They're undisciplined, lazy, and they have absolutely no esprit de corps. The squad leader's got some promise, kid named Mags. But as for the rest, I don't see much hope. I'm going to make them shape up if it kills me, though. Or them, for that matter. Okay, maybe I can help you whip them into shape. You're welcome to try. Hell, maybe they'll listen to somebody they don't see as an authority figure. Okay. So that should start the quest. Flags of our foul ups. I thought this was starts the quest the misfits. Yeah, I thought that starts the quest called misfits, not flags of our foul ups. Talk to the misfits about improving their squad. Okay, let's speak to Point Dexter first. 
You've managed to become a... Don't care. Sergeant McCready asked me to talk to you about getting your squad in shape. That seems highly illogical. What reason would he have for doing that? He thinks you might respond better to someone who isn't an authority figure. This is an unexpected variable. I had hoped to coast on an easy wave of mediocrity to a cushy government pension. Maybe I can help out. Guess you don't feel so smart now. <laughs> Maybe I can help out. How would you propose accomplishing such a goal? It occurs to me that I might cheat. Hmm. An intriguing proposition. Company readiness reports are logged on the computer systems at the resort. If you hack the system, such an attempt, however, is likely to thwart efforts to motivate the squad to do actual work. If yeah, I'll do it. Work is over. Maybe I'll ask around for a little more instead. As you wish. I'm sh I had an idea. Uh, now nah, I want to whip them into into shape. But he's a bell end. He's like just told me to cheat. I don't want to cheat. Y'all sure are a big old hero. I got a rap. It's time to ask some back to you again. So on ship. To me? I'll tell you what I think this squad needs. A little more basic human niceness. <laughs> human niceness? What do you mean? It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That's right. Folks just don't talk to other folks. And everybody's always cross with each other. So I think I should find a way to convince the misfits to get along. That'd be swell. Only if they knew the idea came from me, they probably wouldn't take you serious no more. So maybe you ought to think about it first. And I sure hope you're more convincing than I am. Okay, I'll try and convince them on second foot. No, I'll try and convince them. Okay. Oh god, I, I eat. It's a good thing he doesn't go near Vegas. Patrolling. Oh shit, here comes the break. About getting the squad ready to support up. Like I said, you get the juice, we'll cut loose. Okay. S tell me where to get it. On second of all, I'll talk to the others first. Now, he needs to respect everyone. Yeah, I'm not going to drug everyone. Wow. The big sol About those improvements. Yeah, what about it? I told you we need marksmanship and explosive handling improvements. Good. Okay, let's get out to the range. Are you sure? I've got enough clout to get them started, but these guys are pretty lazy. I doubt they'll want to be pulled in different directions. I'm sure. Let's do it. You're the boss. Right, so what's my gun skill? Guns is 54, and explosives is quite low, but... Right, they're on the range. Okay. So. Uh, do I have any Millsap Patriots cookbook? Do it. Save. Okay, everybody's lined. Guns, to take positions where you can cover each other, stay focused. You heard the man. Take your time, pick your shots, and tell your squad mates you're shooting at. I've got the one at 11 o'clock. Raz, O'Hanrahan, take the two on the. Guns, wait for Exhale before you fire, squeeze the trigger, don't jerk it. Right. Exhale, squeeze. Well, I think that went well, don't you? Thanks for the help. I think the whole unit's doing a lot better now. Okay. Wow. The so the range practice take care of things? It helped, but we still got a grenade range inspect. Get the troops lined up, we'll deploy it. Honored to speak. When I got this assignment, I was... You know, if you were serving. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Nelson's back in our hands. We won't go quiet. When I got this assignment, I was Dude, come on. More Is it broken? Speak with you, sir. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. Shoot, come on. Okay, we've got our dummy grenades and the course is live. Explosive 25. Okay, let's start pull the pin. Let it cook off for a count of three, then throw it. Right, easy enough. One, two. Explosive 35. Don't pitch it like a baseball. Lob it. You want a good solid arc. Solid arc. Check. Lob them up and over, people. Explosive 45. Don't worry about accuracy. Use the grenades to break up clusters of enemies. Hold the grenades for groups, squad. Hit them in clusters and send them running. I think that went well, don't you? Yeah, I do. Thanks. I think we might survive this now. Good. So let's have a see. Nice. Wow. The 
Okay, so how's the squad doing? Thanks to you, I think we're in good shape. The squad seems to be functioning much better as a unit now. Good. Flags of our phallops. 